the extra mile. Let's give it up for Miss McMahon. All right, I just want to say, okay, Miss Gillespie got me on that one. She came to the door and said, I need y'all here right now. And so my heart's still pounding. So <laughs> I didn't know what was happening. I'm like, all I could think of, Autumn, is Autumn okay? And then next thing you think, okay, anyone hurt on the playground? But no, I just want to say thank you all so much. I did not expect this. Anything I do, I do it from my heart and I never look for anything in return. Just your love and your appreciation. And you guys show that every single day. I am feeling overwhelmed. Ooh, I am excited. I am feeling much appreciated and so very loved by everybody. I'm just deeply humbled. I mean, 36 years in one organization is a long time and I, I just can't see myself leaving it because of the children and seeing their faces every day and the love that they give, regardless of when I have to be the disciplinarian, they still will come up to me the next day and give me a hug. So. It means so much when they know that what I do comes from a place of love and it comes from the heart and that I only want the best for them. We are here to recognize you as being the recipient of our Committed Community Award for March 2023. So if we would, let's please give Mr. Bullard a round of applause. Gather here today, I just want to highlight why you were chosen. Some of the things that you were chosen to be the Committed Community Award winner. They say that you yourself are a Cape Fear coat, correct? Fantastic. And they say that you have put in more than 20 plus years of service to the Booster Club here. Oh, excuse me, 28 years. Thank you, sir. Thank you. They say that they see that you are here, working all types of sporting events, attending game duties, and making sure that anything that Cape Fear Coats needs, you step up to the plate and you offer that to them. Try to. Well, that is awesome. And I understand your granddaughter is here now, serving as a cheerleader. So if you would, please come over here and stand close. Let's give them a round of applause. Well, you gotta love it, one thing. You know, and it's hard to get somebody to do what I'm doing. You know, it's like a second job. I'm out here four, sometimes five nights a week. Depends on if we got games, but uh, but like I said, I do it for the coaches, make sure they have what they need, and you know, to help out the athletic director. You know, when they need stuff. Um, so uh, it's that's the reason why I do it. <laughs> 